From the projects page, you can export the list of all projects or specific projects to a CSV file to build reports and external tools. You can also export the list of users from the users and security page. Talon Studio provides the THTTP client component in the internet family. The component interacts with any web services, such as REST, SOAP, and so on. The THTTP client component in this job connects to the JIRA server using a user account and extracts specific JIRA records. In the basic settings view of the th client component, a schema is created to specify the information to be extracted. Other options that need to set include the base URL, the URL of the JIRA server, authentication type and user credentials, HTTP method, and path. We can set query conditions by selecting the query parameters option and type in the conditions in the table. We can also specify the content and format of the response. In the advanced settings view of the THTTP client component, we select the pagination option to utilize the pagination strategy, with the offset of 0 and limit of 20. We use the preset configuration for JIRA by entering JIRA in the preset field and clicking the load selected preset button. When we run the job with all these configuration, the JIRA records that match the query conditions are listed in the console. This connector also exists in Talon Cloud. In Pipeline Designer for example, you can create an HTTP client connection to your JIRA account. And set the exact same configuration in your dataset in order to retrieve the JIRA tickets with the status done during the year 2022. The query parameters can be set in the main settings of the HTTP client dataset, and the pagination parameters can be set in the advanced settings of the dataset to retrieve several pages with maximum 20 issues per page. You can then create a pipeline, add the dataset you just created, and run it in the cloud on the engine of your choice. At the end of the execution, you can see in the metrics panel that the 217 records corresponding to the JIRA tickets are retrieved. If you open the pipeline logs, you can also read the detail of these JIRA tickets. Data quality rules detects anomalies based on a set of requirements to which the data must comply to be considered as valid. After you created the rules in Talon Cloud Data Inventory, use the T-Data Quality Rules component to apply rules on your data in Talon Studio. Enter the URL of Talon Cloud Data Inventory to connect to the Cloud app. When the rules are retrieved, associate the rule variables to your data. If you want to apply more rules, click the plus button. Run the job and see which data are valid according to the rules you applied. If you are working on a remote project managed by Talon Cloud Management Console, the remote engine settings are automatically retrieved and configured in Talon Studio. With this monthly update, Talon Studio displays the environment and workspace names along with the remote engine names, in remote engine details on the remote view in the preferences dialog box and on the target exec tab in the run view. This helps you easily identify different remote engines with the same name but in different environments and workspaces when running a job remotely. When publishing your jobs, routes, or data services to Talon Cloud, you can now select the environment and the workspace separately. Take this job for an example, when publishing it to Talon Cloud, you need to select an environment where you want to publish the job artifact, then select a workspace in the environment where you want to share the job artifact. Click Finish. A message is displayed to confirm the publication. You can see the job artifact has been published to Talon Cloud successfully. Iceberg is now supported with Hive in your standard jobs. A brand new checkbox in T-Hive create table allows you to use Iceberg. Let's take this example with CDP 7.2 public cloud. You are now able to create an Iceberg table through Hive, with partitions using Parquet format. Other Hive components can be used too to delete or insert data such as T-Hive row, or to read data such as T-Hive input. SAP CDS Views is now supported in your standard jobs. You can retrieve existing settings of SAP CDS View from the SAP Connections Views in the repository tree. You only have to search directly from the name or the description, and the SAP CDS Views will appear in the table. You can see all the parameters associated with the different fields. 
This metadata can then be used in your job containing either TSAP table input or TEL TSAP map to synchronize the SAP CDS views parameters. Let's take a look at a simple job. A brand new checkbox in TEL TSAP map and TSAP table input allows you to retrieve and transform data from SAP CDS views. Once you've executed your job, all the data from SAP CDS views are visible in the console output.